Our pace of living leaves us little time for leisure. Our program will give you a chance to experience the fascinating world of traveling, extreme adventures, hunting and fishing. Each week we will take you to the most beautiful places of Kazakhstan. Photo hunting is a modern way of satisfying your hunting instinct. You can photo hunt whatever you wish, everything that surrounds and looks interesting to you, whether it is a bird, an animal, a person, a building or a monument. Today many hunters leave their guns and take up cameras. Alek Bilalov is a well-known photo hunter and a reputable ornithologist. Alek Bilalov is the son of Vyacheslav Bilalov, a reputed Kazakh cameraman who worked in TV and movie making industries. The human and nature relationship is the main theme of his creative work. Oleg Bilalov has very often accompanied his father in the expeditions and learned a lot as a photographer and a cameraman. His father has taught Oleg the rules of conduct out in the wild. My father has films of extreme trips. One of them shows the climb up the communism peak, where he went with the Kazakh climbers team. The whole team helped carrying the equipment. They disassembled the camera to carry it and then assembled it again when they needed to film. Alek has been passionate about ornithology since childhood and became a well-known photo hunter with pictures being published in many sources. I think photo hunting is 100 years old. Hunting itself has existed since the first human started to look for food and became a hunter. The purpose of amateur hunting is satisfaction of spiritual and aesthetic needs, markmanship improvement, body and soul regeneration. It's a normal man's hobby. Many men hunt. The difference is that a photo hunter does not kill its prey. The rest of the process is the same. You feel excitement, you need to sneak in on an animal, outsmart it. These are the same feelings that an ordinary hunter feels. The mighty Tanshan ridges overlook the territory of Kazakhstan. The most northern spur of this mountain, the Zhailiski Alatau Mountains, are located on the southern border of Almaty city. Oleg Bilalov took his first pictures of wildlife in the big Almaty Gorge. I have experience of hunting with a rifle and I remember the thrill that you feel. Photo hunting is more diverse. One day you can photo hunt a small bird, another day a large animal or a small lizard. We decided to walk up the big Almaty Gorge and watched how Alek is choosing the object for photo hunting. Soon we found out that the modern digital camera is not enough for successful photo hunt. 
просто фотоаппарат не недостаточен для того, чтобы заниматься вот ну. The snapshot camera is not good enough for photo hunting animals in the wildlife. You need a camera with a long focus lens. This is like binoculars. You are able to zoom in on an object and watch it. A lot of wild animals dwell in the Zaliskialatau mountains. It is possible to take a picture of the largest animal at a really short distance, less than 100 meters from the camera. The hunter with a rifle has an advantage by being able to shoot an animal from a distance of 500 or 300 meters. Many times, when I was photo hunting with the park rangers, they were really surprised that I didn't start taking pictures from that distance. I tried to explain to them that the animal will look very small in the picture compared to the landscape. However, sometimes these kinds of shoots are interesting as well. Apart from the main object of his current photo hunt, the birds are always get caught in the lens of Alex's camera. According to ornithologists, as many as 160 bird species dwell within Zailiskia Latau and its foothills, plus a few tens of species fly into this mountain area during migrations or wintering. Alex has pictures of many different birds in his personal collection, which he took in different regions of Kazakhstan. I take pictures of small birds at a distance of 5 or 6 meters. Walk-up hunting is rarely successful. Basically, you are hiding from the animal and waiting for its appearance. You can hide near the bird's nest or close to the animal's watering places. All these options are acceptable for the pictures. If the Kumai Himalaya griffon is a large bird with a wingspan of more than 3 meters, could be easily caught in the lens, then common plover is a small one and difficult to take a picture of. The little owl in its turn is smaller than the plover. Its body length is 25 centimeters. Ordinary hunters have another advantage. One moment is enough to catch the animal, but when you are shooting a video, you need some action. The animal has to graze or start a mating dance, it should be doing something interesting. The animal running away from the camera is not interesting to anyone. We moved from the Big Almaty Gorge to the Kaskilian Gorge. Spring lasts long in the mountains. It takes quite a while for the snow to melt completely. At one point, we couldn't drive and decided to walk up the road. Since the road was difficult to drive on, we have not met any tourists, but noticed the herd of the ibexes. So Alex's collection has enriched with pictures of these animals. The hunters are usually discussing the trophies, but the ornithologists have a different view. Sometimes you take a picture of a very rare bird that is of no interest to anyone, but is the best trophy to me as an ornithologist. Once we were lucky to take the pictures of the snowcock. This bird is very shy, it is difficult to sneak in on, since it dwells high in the mountains. One day, while shooting the western part of Zaviskialatau, we got lucky. Snowcocks or pheasant's bloodline are widespread in Asia's mountainous areas. It is a large and shy bird. In one of his expeditions, Alek and his friends have found snowcocks wintering place in the Alpine belt. The snowcocks flew there during winter. The snowfall made the birds gather in the only place suitable for feeding. We climbed up this place in the evening and made the hide. In the morning, we heard the snowcocks. They came around shortly before the sunrise. 
The birds approached really close, less than 10 meters to us. That day, we shot the film and I took the best pictures of the snowhawks. There are many rare birds nesting in the Zailiski Alatau mountains, which are listed as endangered in the Red Book of Kazakhstan. Oleg took the pictures of most of these birds. There are some birds that could not be found in large quantities. For example, the bearded vulture or golden eagle. You can count on fingers all bearded vultures which nest in Zailiski Alatau. There is another bird, the ibis bill. Its range is vast. The bird dwells in the Himalayas, in Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan and China. There are about 150 couples of ibis bills in Kazakhstan. All these populations are already found by the ornithologists. I filmed this bird several times in Zailiski Alatau and in the Ketmen Ridge. The ibis bill is rare since there are just a few habitats. The birds usually dwell on certain pebble beds of high mountain rivers. The birds of prey nest in the stony how hill terrains. Golden eagles, bearded vultures and even ibis bills could be found in Zailiski Alatau. The experienced photo hunter says that it is very easy to take a picture of ibis bills in the nesting place. This is the easiest shooting. You find the nest, get the bird accustomed to the presence of the camera, at first you put it at a far distance, then gradually move the camera closer and at the end the camera is at an ideal distance, providing good picture and you are waiting for the interesting moments. The action is very important for any kind of shooting, whether it is video or film. You can take a great picture within several minutes, you just need to wait for a bird. We walked up the gorge, sinking into the snow, and didn't see any birds around. Meanwhile, Alec was taking pictures all the time and telling us the story of photo hunting Grey Ground Jay in the Lake Balhash area at the same time. There is a separate population, endemic subspecies. It dwells in the southern part of the lake Balhash area, between the Ili and the Karatal rivers, in the Sariyasi Karatal sands. For the last 10 years, the strange depression of grey ground jays population. I've tried to find the bird several times, but haven't succeeded. I have seen neither the jay nor its traces. However, its population is bigger in the Kudalkum sense. Only a few photographers took the pictures of grey ground jays. It is a rarely seen bird. We have finished our trip to the mountains in the evening. Alek told us that each day spent with a camera in his hands is a separate page of his story. The trophy collection that was founded with specific purposes has been added with new photographs. As for ourselves, we spent a great unforgettable day outdoors and learned some tricks from the experienced photographer. And finally, we took a picture of a bird.